Trajan Vuja or Trajan Vuja was a Romanian inventor and aviation pioneer who designed, built, and tested the first tractor monoplane. He was the first to demonstrate that a flying machine could rise into the air by running on wheels on an ordinary road. He is credited with a powered hop of 11 meters made on March 18, 1906, and he later claimed a powered hop of 24 meters. Though unsuccessful in sustained flight, Vuja's invention influenced Louis Bleriot in designing monoplanes. Later, Vuja also designed helicopters. A French citizen from 1918, Vuja led the Romanians of France in the resistance during World War II. He returned to Romania just before his death in 1950. Vuja was born from Romanian parents, Simeon Popescu, a priest, and his second wife, Ana Vuja, living in Serticalmic and Orbuger, where he attended the local primary school, and Faget, a village in the Banat region, Austro-Hungarian Empire, today in Romania, the place is now called Trey and Vuja. From 1884 he attended the Roman Catholic High School in Lugoj and graduated in 1892. He then enrolled in the School of Mechanics at the Polytechnic University of Budapest where he received his engineering diploma. He then joined the Faculty of Law in Budapest, Hungary, where he earned a PhD in law in May 1901 with the thesis Military and Industry, State and Contract Regime. He returned to Lugoj, where he studied the problem of human flight and designed his first flying machine, which he called the airplane car. He attempted to build the machine, but due to financial constraints decided to go to Paris in July 1902, hoping to find someone interested in financing his project, possibly balloon enthusiasts. He met with considerable skepticism from people who believed that a heavier-than-air machine could not fly. He then visited Victor Tatton, the well-known theoretician and experimenter who had built an aircraft model which flew in 1879. Tatton was interested in the project, but doubted that Vuja had a suitable engine or that his aircraft would be stable. Vuja then presented his plan to the Academy de Sciences in Paris on February 16, 1903 but was rejected with the comment the problem of flight with a machine which weighs more than air cannot be solved and it is only a dream. Undeterred, Vuja applied for a French patent on May 15, 1903, and obtained patent number 332106 for his design. He began to build his first flying machine in the winter of 1902-03. Overcoming more financial difficulties, he also started construction of an engine of his own design for which he was granted various patents, the first in 1904. By December 1905 Vuja had finished construction of his first airplane, the Vuja I. This was a high-wing monoplane constructed entirely of steel tubing. The basic framework consisted of a pair of triangular frames, the lower members forming the sides of the rectangular chassis which bore four pneumatic tired wheels, the front pair steerable. The wing was mounted on the apices of these frames and resembled those of Otto Lilienthal's gliders, with a number of curved steel tubes radiating outwards from centers at the apex of each of the side frames, braced by wires attached to a pair of king posts, and covered in varnished linen. Pitch control was achieved by varying the angle of attack of the wing. A trapezoidal rudder was mounted behind and below the wing. It was powered by a carbonic acid gas engine driving a single tractor propeller. The 25 horsepower engine had to be adapted by Vuja himself as a suitable engine was not available. Liquid carbon dioxide was vaporized in a Sopalit boiler and fed to a Sopalit engine. The fuel supply was enough for a running time of about 5 minutes at full power. The aircraft was constructed for Vuja by the Parisian engineering company of Hockenjoes and Schmidt. Vuja chose a site in Montesson, near Paris, for testing. At first he used the machine without the wings mounted so he could gather experience controlling it on the ground. The wings were put on in March and on March 18, 1906, it lifted off briefly. After accelerating for about 50 meters, the aircraft left the ground and traveled through the air at a height of about 1 meter for a distance of about 12 meters, but then the engine cut out and it came down. Caught by the wind it was damaged against a tree. On August 19, a longer hop of 24 meters at a height of about 2.5 meters was made, ending in a heavy landing which damaged the propeller. In August 1906, he modified the aircraft, reducing the camber of the wing and adding an elevator. In this form it is sometimes called the Vuja Ibis. The British aviation historian Charles Harvard Gibbs Smith described this aircraft as the first man-carrying monoplane of basically modern configuration, yet unsuccessful because it was incapable of sustained flight.
the French journal Lerophile emphasized that Vuilla's machine had the capability to take off from a flat surface, without assistance such as an incline, rails, or catapult. At the time Europe was aware of the efforts of the Wright brothers who on December 17, 1903, had flown their Wright flyer from level ground using a dolly undercarriage running on a guide rail into a 20 miles per hour headwind, though few yet recognized the achievement. The Wrights had made sustained and controlled flights in a complete circuit by September 1904. In 1907 Vuya built the Vuya 2, using an Antoinette 25 horsepower, 19 kilowatts, internal combustion engine. This aircraft had the same basic configuration as the Vuya Ibis, but was both smaller and lighter, with a total weight, including pilot, of 210 kilograms and a wingspan of 7.9 meters. Vuya succeeded in making a brief powered hop on July 5th, traveling 20 meters, but damaging the aircraft and suffering slight injuries on landing. No further attempts were made to fly the aircraft. Charles Dolphus, former curator of the Air Museum in Paris, wrote that aviation pioneer Alberto Santos Dumont's use of wheels on his aircraft was influenced by Dumont's having seen Vuya's flight attempts. Vuya reportedly made his first powered hop on March 18, 1906, in the presence of his mechanic and two close friends. Accounts of this test, published at the time, and of his later airborne tests, till August 19, 1906, are based on letters he wrote to Lerophile, the official journal of the Aero Club of France. Vuya made the first known public demonstration of his airplane on October 8, 1906, when he became airborne for four meters, witnessed by Ernest Archdeacon and Edouard Surcouf. Another journal of the period, Flight, credited him with a five-meter hop on October 8, 1906, as the earliest entry in a list of his tests shown in a table of the performances which have been made by the most prominent aviators of the last few years. Between 1918 and 1921, Vuya built two experimental helicopters on the Juvasi and Isilas Molinos aerodromes. He is buried at Bello Cemetery in Bucharest, Romania. Another invention by Vuya was a steam generator with internal combustion that generates very high pressure, more than 100 atm, that is still used today in thermal power stations. Trey and Vuya and one of his partners, Emmanuel Ivano, patented several types of gas generators. On May 27, 1946, Vuya was named an honorary member of the Romanian Academy. His birthplace, Bujaru, in Timis County was renamed Trey and Vuya after his death. Timisoara International Airport Trey and Vuya, Romania's third largest airport, carries his name. High schools in Bucharest, Craiova, Faget, Foxani, Galati, Oradia, Resida, Sutomer, Targugio, and Tadia Magaraz are named after him, and so is a boulevard in Galatian streets in Bucharest, Cluj-Napoca, Galati, Hunidora, Odapini, Susiava, and Timisoara.